involved in violence, uh, gangs, alcohol, and drugs. I tell everybody I went from LSD to PhD. But God delivered me, and somehow He kept my mind in order. I'm grateful that Jesus used victory outreach to reach the rich and those who may have lost their way. in a cell and just a, a 24 women in one cell and they're all very young people they look like so destitute because of the drug addiction that's prevalent here in the city we know the answer is Jesus so I challenged them how many of them would be in the home next time I came back to the Philippines and a lot of them responded now we get to see God move in their lives and make a way to get them in the home and that's where all of you come in right? prayer interceding thinking about how you could support the work out here there's a lot going on in this city but more could be done if we have more people focusing on what's going on here yep. Send them leaders i challenge you to work with them 
Send them young men, strong young men that will help them and, and go with them when they travel around the world. Send them soldiers. Send them people that will serve them. Send them people that will raise up and take their spot when God takes them home. The prayers change. All of a sudden, you're not the one going, give me, give me, give me. You're going, help him, help him, help him, help him, help him, help her, help him, help him. Help him. And all of a sudden, that power of God's flowing through you, and everything you need just happened. It comes. Lost their way, that's God's victory. Reaching those who may have gone astray, that's God's victory. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new. Things are become new. Say it the Lord. I will go before you. I will level the mountain. I will break down the gates of bronze, cut through bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness, which are stored in sacred places, so that you may know I am the Lord. I will go before you, I will level the mountains. I will break down the gates of bronze, cut through bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know I am the Lord. Play that on Sunday morning? Huh? Play that on Sunday morning? If you want me to. But I was so blessed because what happened, why did it say that, was because Paul was encouraging Timothy as a pastor, as a spiritual father. So what happened this morning was, I, I slept an extra few minutes. And as I slept that extra few minutes, what happened was I had a dream. Praise the Lord. And I feel so good because of it. Because what my dream was, is I remember I was like sitting in the foyer of the church. I don't know, maybe it was the Hayward Church. But I, I, I remember seeing my spiritual father, Pastor Steve, walk in the door. And he was still kind of sick. Like he was before he died. And I remember as he walked in, he looked at me. And he gave me a very big hug. And he said these words. I know. No, I don't. And that's all it took. We broke, we hugged, we cried, that was it. And he sat down, I sat down. That's the land that he took. He turned it around. He took the inner cities and made them winter cities. He took a place that nobody wanted and turned it into a place that would produce ministry giants for the Lord. But he says, if, if that place grows giants, if that place can produce gang leaders, if that place can produce sold out drug addicts, and it can produce mighty men. Valor! He turned it around. He saw what nobody else saw. He saw the possibilities through God's promises. God's going to be counting on you. I'm going to be counting on you. Give me this mountain. See, if you belong to this church here in this ministry, we're looking for heroes. Reaching those who may have lost their way. That's God's victory. Reaching those who may have gone astray. That's God's victory. He is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Say it the Lord. I will go before you. I will level the mountain.
ten. I will break down the gates of bronze, cut through miles of fire. I will give you the treasures of darkness, which are stored in sacred places, so that you may know.